welcome back to the Gallardo Superleggera. For Lamborghini, this model is about reduced weight and more power. For me though, the Superleggera has always been more about the noise. When we met the previous version, we did a video with it and a bunch of other supercars in France, and the noise of the Superleggera will stay with me forever. So let's find out if this new version is just as antisocial. go and make a nuisance of ourselves, I suppose I should give you the pertinent facts, which are that the Superleggera weighs 70 kilos less than the regular LP564. Now that comes from the feast of carbon fibre you can see around the car. We've got a carbon front splitter, carbon diffuser, carbon engine cover, carbon sills, carbon back seats, carbon transmission tunnel. It's all about the carbon fibre. Now the net result is the Superleggera weighs 1,340 kilos, which is 40 kilos less than the Ferrari 458 Italia. Now, these weights are quote and dry because that's how the Italians like to do it. And I think there's a little bit of mine's bigger than yours, or actually mine's less than yours in this case, because for this car, Lamborghini have increased the power by 10 brake horsepower. Not much, but it does mean it has exactly the same power and torque as the Ferrari. But of course, because this weighs less, it's got the better power to weight ratio. As you'd expect, this being the more focused version of the Gallardo, Lambo have retuned the suspension. They've changed the bushings, they've changed the springs and dampers just to make it firmer and more precise. They say it's about 70% of the settings they use for the Super Trofero race car. But it's not just the carbon fibre that means the Gallardo weighs less than the 458, because this car's still got a single clutch automated transmission and they weigh 20, 30 kilos less than a double clutch unit. And Lambo are always improving the system. Every new Gallardo you get into is just that little bit better. The shifts are faster and smoother. Now you might be able to see some of the benefits of those revised suspension settings and the special tyres that this Superleggera runs, special sticky P0s, because they're this fantastic lateral grip. The camera work's getting a bit shaky, I think. But uh, it is just that little bit more fun to drive than the regular car. The slightly curious thing about the Superleggera is how it performs on track. Compared to the regular car, the steering and the body control is better. And through faster corners, the balance is pretty sweet. But into slower corners, it's almost like there's just too much rear grip, which gives you quite a lot of understeer. Now, you can get through the understeer, but it's to be pretty brutal with the throttle. For road use, though, that little bit of understeer does make sense, because it allows you to make the most of the grip available, and it feels pretty secure. But as a track tool, it's not quite as entertaining as I was expecting. So the new Gallardo Superleggera is a wicked piece of kit, but strangely one that works better on the road than it does at the track. Is it better than the previous model? Well, in some respects, yes, in steering, gear change and brakes, but I don't think this one sounds quite as good. It's loud, yes, but not quite as raucous. But for me, the best model is still the two-wheel drive Balboni. So, in my opinion, what Lamborghini need to do is combine the weight saving and chassis changes of this model with the two-wheel drive layout from the Balboni. I think the name Gallardo SV comes to mind. 